Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about the movie that ruined Marvel Disney. So, yeah, it's no surprise Marvel Disney is imploded on itself. Like, it's just not what it used to be no more. They're relying too much on humor, wackiness, and silliness. And before the Marvels even came out, which I still have not seen yet, before it even came out, the director said, you know, this movie is going to be wacky and silly. I knew they was in trouble the moment she said that. And it's like, why? Why is this movie going to be wacky and silly? Carol Danvel um, Danvers is not like a wacky, silly character or a person in the MCU or even in the cartoon series or even in the comics and this and that. She's pretty straightforward and she has a temper. So why is this going to be wacky and a silly? And the reason why it's a wacky and a silly is because that is now the Marvel Disney formula. They rely too much on Disney Marvel baby humor. I've said this before in their thing. But you know what? A lot of people want to assume that this all started with Thor Love and Thunder. But it did not. That was probably like the nail in the coffin and everything. And there's actually a movie that predates that that was actually the catalyst for all of this Marvel wackiness and silliness and what all they focus on. And see, here's the thing. We all know it. We all know the movie that I'm talking about, but you don't want to actually admit to it because you love that movie. You defend that movie. You will probably go to the grave for that movie. And it is Thor Ragnarok. That was literally the catalyst for all this wackiness and all this silliness and stuff. See, Marvel's always had humor in this stuff. But their humor was smart. And their humor re um, revolved around characters that were humorous at some point in time. Either in the comics or the cartoon series. Spider-Man is a perfect example of that. He does quips. He has one-liners. He's always been that silly, you know, one-liner type person. It's been that way in the comics. It's been that way in the animated series. And it finds its way into live action. Except for the Sam Raimi movies. But anyway, that, that's not the MCU. In the MCU, that Peter Parker is very silly. Overly silly and stuff. They went too silly because they went the Disney Marvel baby route and everything. So... Then you have Iron Man. Iron Man gives you one-liners left and right, but Iron Man is also a very serious character in the MCU. Now, I don't know what he's like in the comics. I don't read comics, but when it comes to animation, that is the only reference I have. In Iron Man, um, the animated series in season one, it was very, very humorous, and I hate that first season. Then the second season was very serious, and so was he. He only threw out one joke one time in the second season. Then he appeared in Spider-Man the Animated Series where he was serious and then Hulk the Animated Series where he was serious again. And then he was in Ultimate Avengers where he was very serious, suave, debonair, but would give a couple of one-liners in a flirtatious kind of way or a sarcastic kind of way. Then, you know, I'm, I'm going to assume he had been humorous at some point in time other than being a jerk. For whatever reason, they decided to make him humorous in the MCU. And he's been throwing out quips one, uh, one line after another. But his quips are more like insults, kind of like Spider-Man. And but other than that, he is also a very serious character. Now, you have all these comedic um directors like you know uh what was that Fabro dude john Fabro, who he's a comedic dude so he threw in a little bit too much humor at times but it was still tame then you had josh whedon who tried to assassinate the captain america character in the avengers movie thankfully the russos fixed all that and so like but other than that, it was still tamed and everything. But then came Thor Ratnarok. I forget what phase it was in. I think it was phase three. 
And by that time, humor was starting to find its way a bit more into um, the MCU with Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff like that. Now, of course, you know James Gunn is James Gunn, so it also has to do with the director. But still, things are still tamed and still more serious. But Thor Ragnarok was never a serious movie. It was a Taika Waititi movie in there, I think. And Taika Waititi is nuts. <laughs> he is all for that slapstick humor. And that's what Thor Ratnarok became. The first two movies were very serious, very dry. Well, except for the first one, it had a little bit more humor in it. But anyway, Thor has always been kind of that oddball character in the comics. He's a hippie in there, I think. And so Tiger decided to go down that more zany route, like in the comics and stuff. But he went a little too far. But he went to the point that where Thor Ragnarok was just different. It was just different. It was very silly. It was very over the top. It was very comedic. It was just a wacky movie. But it was a wacky movie with like something you can like, you know, um, shake your head to and everything. But nevertheless, it was the most different MCU movie out there. And then what happened after that? All the critics started saying, yes, this is what Marvel needed. Yes, this is what Thor needed and everything. And it's like they took a boring movie character in a boring movie and they infused it with all this like humor and, and, and awesomeness and coolness and I'm about to rip my shirt off because it's just so awesome and then what happened all those executives at Marvel they're all like you like that like you really like that you think that's funny like this is the way you want Marvel to go it has like high ratings. It has a good to, um, Rotten Tomato score. It made a lot of money. Oh, well, we now see our formula and everything. And what happened after that? Every Marvel movie started to get a bit overly too silly after that. Characters started to get overly too silly. They started bringing in more comedic writers and way more comedic directors and stuff. And then we had Thor Love and Thunder that cranked up Ragnarok to like a million because that's what Marvel thought you wanted. And then they're all like, ah, crap, dude. <laughs> like, what happened? You said you wanted this and everything. And it was just too much. It was just too much. And they didn't know how to pull back. They are now slowly pulling back. But you still see that humor and nonsense stuff in the Ant-Man movies. You see like it in the Marvels I hear because the Marvels, that director said, it's wacky and silly. That's what they're hoping. They're hoping you like that because this is what you said you liked and everything. And, you know, then they try like, okay, we got to do a complete 180 on this. So here comes Secret Invasion. But the problem with Secret Invasion is that it was so dry and boring that they went the complete opposite route. And they, they didn't, like, infuse it with no good humor. Smart humor. Not wacky humor, but smart humor. Um, they didn't give us no heroes we wanted. It, was, it didn't really feel like the comics or animated series. It was a step in the right direction. It just didn't do it for us. You know what I'm saying? And then you have stuff like Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, um, what is, what's her name? She-Hulk and um, Moon Knight. And then, you know, with those Disney Plus shows, they were just silly and everything. And I still feel like that callous was that of Thor Ragnarok. If people did not enjoy themselves way too much with that movie, then I believe we still would have had things similar to that of phase one and everything, or phase two, where the humor is more tame. And the sad thing is, nobody wants to admit that this was the movie that caused all the problems. Some might say it was Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I, it's been a long time since I watched that, so I don't remember. Um, that dance-off thing was pretty stupid. It was stupid, but it was stupid funny and everything. But it was stupid, but... 
I don't think that movie was like the, 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 the true catalyst for all this because even though it was a silly movie, it was still tamed and had some seriousness to it. But with Thor Ragnarok, what was it? It was just silliness all around. The hero, the main hero was silly. The co-hero was silly. The Hulk. That's when they made the Hulk so silly. Remember that? Um, Loki's always been silly, so it don't really matter with him. Valkyrie, who's a very serious character, was silly. The villain was silly. His minions were silly. Everybody was silly in that movie. The co-stars, like um, Korg and that, that, that bug thing, they were silly. And I'm just kind of like meek. That's what it is. And I'm just kind of like, you know, Korg is supposed to be more serious. That's how I remember him from that animated movie. And it's just like, and what happened at that? All these animated series that was similar to MCU were silly. Hulk Agents of Smash. Um... Uh, what are them things called? The Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon. Um, that Avenger symbol thing that people hate. All the cartoon series started to be silly. This was literally the start for all this wackiness and stuff. Alrighty, well I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.